Arthur Gies, my marvelous friend, um, I have such good news for you. Do uh, tell. And it's not really news, because I know that you've been playing this game too, but a, a really good stealth game came out. Yeah, it's weird, right? Uh, uh, it, it's so good and so stealthy that no one knows it exists. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it, yeah, I guess it, it filled its charge um, disappointingly well, I would say. Yeah. Uh, this is the Marvelous Mistake, which came out, I think, uh, like the end of November on Steam. I think last Steam. week, yeah. Uh, and it is a stealth game from a developer called Wonderstruck, uh, which is made up of some ex Lionhead devs. And it is uh, an, sort of an isometric uh, stealth game that is like really fantastic. I've been really enjoying it a lot, and I'm glad because I didn't think that particular itch was going to get scratched this year. Yeah, it's uh, it's there hasn't been a ton of stealth games this year, and it's not a stealth action game like something like Metal Gear. You you cannot you get punch. To screw around. No, you you either don't get caught or you fail. Yeah, um, there there have been I feel like some stealth games like Thief and and I would probably call mm. Alien Isolation maybe a okay that's fair game, yeah that's but that that's true. I didn't particularly love either of those. Um, right. And, and this one is really good. So so there's some really fascinating stuff. Uh, going on. Uh, th this is relatively early on in the game, and you can already see like a lot of game mechanics are at play. So, right. for instance, you got the guards. Uh, if you wander into their cone of vision or get too close to them, they'll start to see you and they'll come after you. Uh, there, I just threw a teleporter to escape his cone of vision, which was totally sweet. It's such a cool, like, it's weird. It starts out really simple to the point where it almost seems like a casual game. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be baby stuff, but so man. quickly it adds so many things. Like it starts with just the guards, which you see, who have their little vision cones. Right. But then it adds uh, noise to the to the equation. Yeah. So and there it are, adds cameras. There are masterpieces in these glass cases you can smash open to collect, but it alerts the guards. Right. Um, and then you have dogs who uh, will. They sort of behave like guards. They'll hear you if you uh, run too quickly. Uh, they'll chase down your scent uh, if, if you get too close, and the only way to get away from that is to run, which is makes it kind of counterintuitive. And there you just saw uh, one of the like really weird things about this game that I really like, it's really unique for a stealth game, is there are par times for every level. So there's almost right. like a, a speed run element to it, which doesn't really... It seems really counterproductive, but it's really neat. It's yeah. this really cool, unexpected arcade sensibility. Uh, although that is so far only with mistake the character and there are multiple characters There are multiple in the characters. Game. Yeah, the the third character also has a, a speed run time um, Each character has different thing you play through the same level, but you have different objectives So as mistake you can see I'm just sort of running around trying to collect uh, paintings and works of art um, And again if mistake gets caught uh, Which I probably do in this video because it's actually a very hard game. Oh, that was so close Oh um, man, hug in the corners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, this is another great. This is a great example of how things can get really hard really quickly. Because right there, like I had nothing I could do. That dog was coming around the corner, and uh, and and the the camera was was pointing the way that I needed to go. Oh my god! And you dropped your hat I when you get caught. Like, so you can be spotted but not set off an alarm. But right. when you set off the alarm, her hat flies off and she runs away. It's really funny. Um. This is a really interesting game in that the the main character is a woman. Like the second character you find is a person of color who is also disabled, which uh, is interesting. A disabled character in a stealth game actually right. works really well. Yeah, because he can't. Uh, he he has a cane. He can't uh, run, but he has a special item he can throw at any time uh, that causes noise. Uh, f you know, far across the level in like a really really wide. Uh, circumference so you can use that to attract like a lot of guards and create paths for yourselves right which mistake can also do like if you click on her she can whistle which right. brings people to her but that's very localized to her um, um, you've seen me use it a couple times now but the teleporter you, you have several different sort of instruments you can use uh, that help you out but the teleporter is so cool it's such a great idea because it basically allows you to get yourself into these inescapable situations where you have you know two dogs chasing you and a guard on one end of the room and the camera's panning over you. And the way that you get out of it is by chucking your teleporter, uh, you know, across the world. So- And you got caught. And I got busted. So the, the other thing that makes this more, like less like a puzzle game, although it's got puzzle sort of elements and more like an action game is that the guards don't follow set paths. It's so, the, the guards or dogs, uh, yeah, they, they have random patterns, which is like, 
so unique for for a stealth game. Like yeah, so, it's really uncommon. So much of stealth games is memorizing those patterns, and then oh god, go uh, memorizing those patterns, and then you know, sort of trial and erroring your way through a level. Is this gonna work? I don't, man. This is Woo. wow. Look at you. Um, I mean, it, that's the thing. Watching it back, I'm still like kind of exhilarated. Like watching all these like super close calls happen. Because um, that's like the whole game it, is closer and closer calls. Um, that that especially picks up with the third character who you haven't unlocked yet, who is a pickpocket, uh, who robs the safes that you see in the level. But in order to get <laughs> keys for the safes, you have to get basically right next to guards. Uh, here, Which is. That's amazing. It's really hard. That dog's on my stink, so I just warped right past him. Oh, shit. That dog, uh, too. You also can't finish the level unless you go pick up your hat. So what am I doing here? I don't know. Whatever I'm doing is probably not going to work. Sometimes the controls are almost too simple. I think that it asks a lot of you with some very limited sort of input Ooh. methods. Um, yeah, uh, you can play it just using the mouse, right? I, I, yeah. I enabled WASD. See, I, d I didn't even realize that you could freaking do that. But yeah, so you can play it just with the mouse and like you hold the the right mouse button on her to whistle and you left click to throw things. But uh, and you like hold it and click to and move to run and stuff like that. Um, it, it, what's interesting to me is that there there really is no violent option. I think actually as the the uh, the guy whose name I can't remember. Harry. Uh, as Harry, you can throw that noisemaker, right? Uh, uh -huh. And if you throw it and accidentally hit a guard, they immediately know where you are and come after you. Like uh, it, it disincentivizes violence in by like every single metric. Um, I love that the little girls uh, level. So the way you pick levels are, are you're in a house, right? And you go to these empty pictures to to pick them. And the way that she, the way you know that a level is hers is there's a very small picture that's low to the ground. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, um, so this is her uh, sort of mechanic. You steal keys and pop the safes open, and as soon as the safe pops open, it emits a, a an alarm that draws in everybody, um, which is, ooh. So when uh, Miss Take and Harry get close to a guard, they know it. Like right. They, they sort of detect it, but she can get right next to right, them. Right, the pickpocket. I mean, she has to in order to get right. the keys. Um, it's interesting, and it's not... Uh, I, I thought it would be sort of exhausting, like, going back and playing through the same levels over and over again, but they really are so, so different. Like, um, like, like you said, the, uh, the, the guy doesn't have a part-time in his level at all. So you right. really uh, can take your time um, figuring out the best path through those. Th those levels are, are really challenging because being able to sprint... Uh, away from stuff uh, really helps in a lot of situations like there, although it didn't help oh, too super you're much. So close, Griffin. Um, but what's interesting is that that it is a stealth game without any violent options, which is usually sort of a crutch that a lot of stealth games lean on. Yeah, which definitely. is like you have gotten yourself into an oh shit situation. It's your get out of jail free card. It it it, it is your literal get out of jail free card. Um, uh, because they take you to jail. If, yeah. Oh, if they on, catch you. Come yeah. On. I'm assuming that's what they do. They're not gonna just like murder this child, right? Well, you know. It's also worth noting that like the presentation is super, super slick. Um, yeah, the music is very catchy. It's it is, it's yeah. ranges from music to like jazz. To like Ocean's Eleven style yeah. shit. Um, it's really fresh. Th this game, I feel like came out of nowhere. Uh, and I actually hope it gets brought to other platforms too. I think it could totally work. Um, oh, it would totally work on, on a controller. On other stuff too, uh, because I don't know. I think it's got like a lot of of broad appeal. It's like I don't know for it. It, it takes the like simplest DNA of what stealth games are, um, but like throws so much of it against the wall that like I don't know. It actually becomes pretty complex. Yeah, it it's it starts as something very simple and it becomes enormously complicated over time, and not in a in a bad way. It's a very comprehensible thing but the options that you have at your disposal at any given time are really sophisticated right and it takes it actually requires like a lot of skill and technique to like especially once you get the the tools at your disposal like having like four guards chasing you into a room and an alarm about to spot you and then like and then throwing a teleporter throw a hail mary teleporter that like gets you out of the situation or like throwing the teleporter through like a window 
and and like moving into a different part of the level like that it's just it's it's really really great uh and it's hard and a lot of the time it won't work and you'll lose uh but but when it does man it's it's like uh anyway this is the marvelous mistake it's out now on steam uh it's a steal god damn it